Hello my brothers and sisters on the Dragon's Path. My name is Tim Heijen and I believe in dragons. And this is our river, being called La Semois. According to the legends there should be a water dragon inside of this golden necker. Well, I do not believe these stories. I know that there is a lot of energy in these waters, but it's just not deep enough for a dragon to live inside of this. And so, um, besides the dragon, I also love my family. I love my family very, very much. And especially my dad. My dad did so many things for me. If he's gone, I'm going to be a different person. Very, very much. Um, because, yeah, I love him very much and that is, that is why it was very, very um, emotional, the moment that he was getting a heart attack. And that came out of nowhere. I mean, it was so emotional that I, for the first time, asked for my dragon to do something. For the first time ever. And it was purely based on emotions. And um, it was, in fact, not the dragon that did something in particular. It was me. I did it. I did such a dragon magic ritual on that moment, purely based on the emotions that I have, on the love that I have for my dragon, a, a love that I have also for my, for my dad. I, um, I was so afraid, so afraid to be alone, and so afraid that he was, being, uh, was, he was gone, but um, in the car, he was driving because I cannot drive, in, and, and he was having this pain, and... Um, yeah, I had this, um, this extreme emotions and so it was emitting a lot of energy, so much energy that it was emitting out of me and I was touching him, touching him very, very tight in his, in his, uh, in his shoulder and uh, hoping that I could do something. I mean, that if you are in a situation like this, then of course you will try everything to save the one you love. And so I tried. And after a moment that I uh, put my hand on his shoulder and all these emotions that were on it, uh, all posit positive, I wanted to send a little bit more positive emotions, but it was difficult and yeah, but it was sincere, it was so much sincere. And with this I wanted to, uh, to say with you something about this, my brothers and sisters. I binded my, my dad in dragon magic. He may not know it to this day, he doesn't even believe in magic. Um, but I binded him in dragon magic, a sort of protection that I wanted to do for my for, for my, um, my my dad. But it was not my guardian that did it. Uh, my guardian responded, that is not up to me. Even though the guardian can uh, protect the ones you love, because you love them and you are connected with them, so as well as uh, this is going to happen, that your guardian as well is going to protect them. But this is totally different. This was medical, this was inside of it, this was so about to happen and this is something where your guardian cannot help. This is not uh, a car crash that is about to happen, no, this is something different. And so my dragon gave instructions to do something and that was a binding spell, a binding spell. How does a binding spell even work? You know, uh, I came across a lot of uh, so-called spells. On, on the internet that are also binding spells but a binding spell I just explained to you how it works binding spells can be done with extreme emotions with uh, so many emotions that you are also on the dragon's path and that you have dragon energy and if the emotions of the dragon is so darn high then things are about to happen and I love to believe that I uh, that day binded my dragon in uh, my my dad in dragon magic and that i did something to avoid it and now he still lives um in the same house as me in this in these forests and uh, still being together uh, so there is a family member actually that says uh, you should get away from this dragon uh, religion that you are in because it seems bad and you should actually more like <laughs> that was that was my aunt that said this. Uh, you should more like worship your dad because he does so much for me. I said, I do. I do worship him. And that is because I did everything. I tried everything. That is why I had so many emotions. I cannot lie for my emotions. And what, what you do with uh, binding magic, binding spells, is not that you should say to your dragon, please bind them. No, do it yourself. 
You have an awakened dragon spirit. It has a lot of energy. So do it yourself. And you, when you do something sincere on the dragon's path, then things will happen. If, you, if it's fake, if it's all forced, then yeah, nothing will happen. That is why I say you cannot fake the dragon's path. You cannot fake it any, anyways. You cannot force yourself. Of course you can force yourself, but then nothing will happen. And that is what happened in that car. I didn't force anything. I love my, my dad very much. And that is how you, your love uh, for your family members is just the same. You can save it. You can save them by protecting them with your draconic energy. Dragons are the ultimate guardians, the ultimate protectors. Whatever they hold dear, they do everything for it. And that is also what is going to happen. But just like with every with everything, everything has also another side. This is about binding them in positive and love. What about binding them in negative and hate and darkness? It can be. That is in fact one of the things that I tried in the beginning of my path. There are some people in this world that I really, really don't like. I'm not going to lie. And I have only pure and dark energy for them. So I was going to have a test to see if I can bind them in dragon magic, just as I, can, I did with my, my dad, but reverse, in reverse, darkness. I wanted to give them darkness. Oh my God, that was even worse than I thought, that I, I had more darkness than I ever thought, than I ever could even believe that I had humans have a lot of darkness and they keep it away but when Leviathan shows you your darkness oh my goodness I Leviathan didn't show me at that moment but I had an idea of how much darkness I had so I binded others other people also in dragon magic but in dark dragon magic I did did it with my dad in light dragon magic so yeah it, everything has another side of course it's always about balance it uh, choose whatever it seems fit. That is also the dragon's path. We don't see light, we don't see dark, we see grey. We see both of them. And did I, am I sorry for what I did for these people? Not at all, not any moment. Because, yeah, sometimes we just need to admit what we feel. And in the dragon's path, dragon's energy is so darn strong with this. Binding them in dragon magic is sometimes happening without even knowing it. Because what I did for my dad, for, for that, that was natural. That was very natural. And also the darkness, the hate, and the, uh, that, that is also something that comes natural. It's not forced. Nothing on the dragon's path could be forced. It's just you and your emotions that you have and all of your power that you have from the dragon that lives within, inside of you. And every time you use it more and more, the more that you will, re, uh, that you will awaken even more and become stronger. You can test this. I tested this. Uh, with First, uh, I did with it dark, uh, binding them in dark energy. And then I binded them, that is my dad for the first time years ago, binded my dad in light energy, light dragon Magic and light and dark, yeah. You get the point. How to do so? <laughs> that is what everyone wants to know. Eh? This is, cannot be done if you're not on the dragon's path. This cannot be done because humans want so many things. They want so much from the dragon. They are going to be treated as slaves or something that they have to work for, for humans. But not for you. You know that it's not like that. Um, and you are not someone for example, that can be hired to do something in, in nature or something, or to do or to uh, do revenge on this. This is actually also comparable, I'm sorry, I'm going to change my hand because it's so cold, um, comparable to voodoo, what I said before. This is also something that you can use as some kind of a distant energy, as a distant, because you can also, <laughs> and sometimes I call it a curse or, or a blessing, but in fact it's, it's actually binding them in dragon magic in your dragon magic, where your god and your guardian doesn't need to do anything, it's just you. You are awakening more and more as a dragon uh, soul, as a dragon spirit. So the dragon spirit can do many, many things, so without, sometimes without even knowing it. That you can bind someone without knowing it. That you have extreme emotions, negative or positive, for your family members, for the ones that you hate, ones that are wrong to you. 
are the ones that you really, really love and that they are in danger. And that is when your energy starts off to flick on the other person. There is energy around them. Then that is your energy that you are giving to them. And I, I think that I did this with my dad and I think that I did this with these guys that did uh, a lot of wrong with me. 